In this video I'm going to give you a quick look at cut listing in Pro 100 design software uh, as well as some of the job costing capability of the program. We're just using a we're going to use the base two door one drawer from the examples catalog uh, face frame and I'm just going to drag that, drag that in and uh, we'll take a look at the reports and calculations for this single cabinet. Let's pay attention to the adjustable shelf here. The length is 27 and 7 eighths. Let's see what it is when I resize the cabinet. So back to reports and calculations. Now it's 41 and 1 16th. So the program is parametric. You resize the cabinet, all the parts inside of the cabinet follow. So I'll change the cabinet back to its original size. I'll just, I'll just go to edit and undo to do that. Reports and calculations. It's back to 27 and 7 eighths. Now you m may want to slice and dice your cut list or generate some job costing information for a job. To do that you're going to export the cut list from Pro 100 by clicking this button that generates a CSV file. I'm going to save that to my desktop and I'm going to overwrite this existing Pro 100 cutlist.txt then I'm going to open a special Excel spreadsheet with macros that we've created specifically for parsing Pro 100 data. So I'm going to open it here. Okay. So from here I'm going to import the text file uh, that I exported from Pro 100. I'll just go to my data tab from text desktop Pro 100 cut list. It's delimited. Next, comma, delimiters, and finish. Now this is just the raw data. I want to process this into something that makes sense, so I'm going to go to the working tab and click run, which will run the macros that do all the processing. Okay. Now, the spreadsheet looked at the pricing data that I had set up. Uh, here you can see countertop lift lip. I have a cost of twelve dollars a square foot. Uh, backsplash fourteen, countertop sixteen. I have costs entered for all kinds of different uh, cabinet parts here. Baltic birch, $1.50 a square foot uh, for the quarter inch and $1.75 for the half inch. Taking all this into account, the Pro 100 uh, macro spreadsheet came up with this job costing data. It uh, saw that I had, with that cabinet, I had two drawer slides, four door hinges, and so on. Total cost of materials, $282. I want overhead to be 100% of the cost of materials in this case. I'm doing a third material, third overhead, third labor right now in the way I have my costing set up. If I want to change that, I'll just change overhead, for example, to... 80% the numbers change immediately labor to 80 to 50% or whatever I want it to be and you can see here the numbers change in real time total cost of job markup selling price installation costs total cabinets and cabinet costs plus installation
um, and any other items such as countertop, crown molding, plumbing, electrical. And this spreadsheet again does all this, uh, all these, uh, sorts all the data for you automatically with the macros that we've programmed and is included with Pro 100. Uh, all my panels, all my doors, their sizes, square footage, quantity, hardware. So that gives you a quick look at how cut listing works in Pro 100. If you have any further questions, call 574-299-5330 or email salesperson at pro100usa.com. We'll be happy to set up a time where you can connect to our computer and get a live walkthrough of any areas that were not properly addressed in the online reading material or, or the video tutorials. Thanks for your time.